Hello everyone, so I'm in Bromley. Um, just gonna have a quick look in CEX and HMV, see what there is, um, and that's it. So let's go. Okay, so we're outside CEX in Bromley, so let's go in. And here we are under the number section. 89, Skyfall there, one pound. Um, a beat up of a James Bond set. Um, just scanning through what have we got. Attack of the Werewolves. Z Movie Cheese, no doubt that is. Um, Amazing Spider-Man set, 4K. Do you know, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is actually a film I don't have in 4K. Um, I've got no interest in actually having it in 4K, um, simply because I find it to be a film now that I cannot get to the end of because of the, um, the, the open story threads that are left behind, and primarily to do with his parents and that. Um, yeah. Bodyguard TV show, that's dropped now to £10. Not sure if I'd ever revisit it or not. Um, here we're down at the bottom shelf. Just have a quick scan along. I've got to get this that bag out of my left hand. That's because I went in card factory because my wife's birthday and Valentine's Day is coming up. So crazies with a lenticular. Not sure if mine has the lenticular or not. Um, criminal with. Um, an interesting looking cast. Tommy Lee Jones, Gary Oldman, Kevin Costner, Gal Gadot. And here we are in the D's. Django, 12 pound. Legends of Tomorrow there, I did enjoy that um, TV show. Dune, Dog Soldiers, a lot of Doctor Who's in there. Looks like someone's traded a few in. Die Hard 4K set there. I didn't look at the price of that, unfortunately. These are some of the animated Doctor Who's where they've done the episodes in animation, I believe. I may be wrong, I don't know, but I think that's what I think they were. Fire started down there. A few titles, as you can see. Fury 4K. Fright Night the Fly. What's this? The Forbidden Planet. Um, the original you know, film, classic sci-fi, with Robbie the Robot in it, I believe. And on to G's, Ghost there, Gravity, was that Gremlins I saw? I don't know. Grinch, Green Lantern. So, moving along here, what do we have? A house, cover reprinted. I hate those cover reprints. I'll say that every time. Highlander 4K was in that bit. Oh, and this is me. Oh, there we go, I'm back. Um, there you go, Highlander 4K. Home Alone double pack, 20 pounds. Heroes box set, uh, Blu-ray. Heroes plus Heroes Reborn, 30 quid for the lot, but it's an oversized box, more like the height of a DVD, even though it's a Blu-ray case, which really sort of annoys me. Glorious Bastards there, just called. There we go, down to the J's, where inevitably you get some Jurassic Parks. John Wick and Jack Ryan down there. That was a 4K Jack Ryan set, I believe, La La Land. I need to give that a rewatch sometime soon. It's been a while. Last Boy Scout, what's with this? Five pound. Yeah, that's an okay film. There you go, Lufa, 12 pound. I did buy a series one to five. I bought a series one to four the other day for a fiver. I still need to get series five at some point when I see it. There's no rush. Series four and five were the weaker two of that, that series, but the first three series of Lufa were fantastic. Nocturnal Animals there with Amy Adams and Jake Gilligan Howe. Down the bottom, Predators. Peacemaker there. Police Academy was down there, the box set. 
Rocketeer, fantastic film. Um, a lot of fun, great soundtrack. Ra Rocky, Rambo, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Silent Running, 4K, 20 pound there. What's this, Star Trek four? that was, Superman on DVD, Blu-ray, sorry. Sanctum there, 50 pence. Solo, the underrated Star Wars film. Um, I'd like to watch Solo again at some point. Spartacus, what's that? Star Trek Motion Picture. Star Trek V, I need that. I need this, the 4Ks of 5 and 6 um, at some point. This film is awful. I hate Sausage Party. Such a wrong film. Some Toy Stories. 12 Monkeys in there. Terrifier. Is that Terrifier 1 or 2? I think that's the first one. Um, Viking Venom. V for Vendetta. A few Walking Deads. Um, what's that? Wall Street. Michael Douglas. Charlie Sheen. Zero Dark Thirty down there. X is there. That's not Zulu Zulu. Different Zulu. Uh, no, I'm just having a quick look through the TV section while the geezer's getting my pickups, which we'll have a look at when I get home. 24, um, stuff like that. And these are some of the films. And this is the one pound section of films. Just sort of having a quick scan. Not that I expect to see anything there. Gone with the wind. And a flash of a cup of tea. Swordfish, Annie Berry there, John Travolta, Hugh Jackman. I saw that when it first came out and I've not watched it since, never seen it since. So now I'm heading into HMV in Bromley to have a quick look in here. And here's their front bit where some of the new releases are. Um, like I said, um, this is actually Sunday I'm filming this on, not Monday. So none of the Monday Blu-ray releases would be here. Um, Crimes of the Future, that was an awful film, I didn't like that did review it when I watched it middle of last year sometime. Reacher, 1883. Some Star Treks down there. Um, yeah. Now turn around. We've got a lot of... Um, this is the sort of stuff HMV are selling now. A, lot of, a, a plush of Rocky. I'm sort of dropping everything on the floor there. Nearly. An ET plush. Freddy Krueger plush. £22 for that little plush thing. That's mental. Here's some Marvel figures. A little Moon Knight. It's pretty cool. There we go. Let's have a look here. What else do we have? Um, Black Panther ones. Um, oh, look, here's a What If Wanda Maximoff um, zombie version. Man, Marvel What If. Loki. Um, from Loki TV series, one of the variants. Played by what's his face in it. Um, his name eludes me at the moment. You can collect all the bits inside. If you get each one, you can build that character from um, Moon Knight. I think they're wrestling figures. I thought they might have been the Marvel ones, but they're not. Marvel What If Red Skull figure there. With a little tesseract in his hand, it looked. And Sentry. Now this character here people want um, Henry Cavill to go and play if they bring him into my... He's very much like Superman type of character, but with blonde hair, and I've knocked something on the floor. Look. What am I like? Then you've got some DC figures, um, some sort of zombie-fied Batmans and Supermans from a comic that I didn't read with DC. Um, yeah, and you've got some other collectibles down here. Now, this is a 4K stand. Um, Halloween was there. And there's some other films. I don't know. This is me having a quick gander through the superhero section. But let's be honest, if there's anything there that I haven't got, I'd be extremely surprised. Yes, and horror next to that. Um, Jordan Peele there. I don't like Jordan Peele films. Men are oh, scanning them all. I'm focusing on... Well, not. I've been drawn to all the ones that I dislike. So, nope. 
Jordan Peele, Men, load of TV stuff here, TV box sets, and behind me, more collectible stuff like Funko Pop type things. Um, I only own two Funko Pops, but hold on a minute. Hold on, am I gonna pick up a third? Um, am I gonna pick this one up? A zombie She-Hulk Funko? No, I'm not, because it looks bloody awful. Not interested, in the least. Well, I was interested enough to pick it up and take a look, but no. And here we go. It's a TV section, DVD. Ghost Whisperer complete set there. Pretty sure you can find all this stuff far cheaper elsewhere. Um, HMV is, is very much overpriced. But there we go. Babylon 5 up there, Andromeda. And just scanning for full, full here, I haven't got yet, 15 quid still. I'm waiting to see it in a CEX at some point, maybe 10, 8 quid, I'll pick it up. It was a decent film, I enjoyed it, I had fun with it. There's Elvis. Um, oh, Electric Dreams there. Yep, I noticed I spoke about um, a few days ago in, a, in one of my chats, and I think Dan picked it up, or Dan's Band Cave as well. Um, Virginia Madsen stars in that. It's a film that I saw back in the day in the 80s when it came out and haven't seen it since. Um, yeah, and I'm just scanning around because um, I'm going to be getting away out of here now um, and hitting the road to come back. Yeah, make my way back. So here I am in traffic and ironically where I just was I'm sat behind a car with the same registration. Okay, so I'm back from that little excursion to Bromley. Um, it is actually Sunday afternoon as I've, um, or Sunday morning as I filmed that. It's now Sunday evening. Um, we went out to um, my daughter-in-law's house for something to eat for dinner. Um, yeah, which was lovely. But on the way, we stopped into Bromley because the missus wanted to get a couple of bits, and thusly I took the opportunity to go CEX to go HMV. I also went into the comic shop in Bromley, and I picked up this, which is a reprint of the very first edition of the Hulk, Incredible Hulk, um, from way back in the 1960s. Um, and it basically reprints, yeah, it's, it's a, uh, yeah, a reprint of that um, original first issue, with all the adverts in there as well. That, they had at the time, um, but I know the last time I showed one of these, um, Derek over at Pure Hangout did ask whether it was printed on the old style pulp paper, but no, they're printed on the new style glossy kind of paper. But yeah, so there we go. That's that, that's all I picked up in there. And in I picked up nothing in HMV. Um, very rare do I pick anything up in there, I'll be honest with you. But I picked up three bits in um, CEX, so let's have a look at those. So the first one was Michael Douglas, Charlie Sheen, in Wall Street for £3.50. Um, yeah, and, and I'll be honest, it's a film I've never seen. I've never sat down and watched Wall Street, I've never owned it. Um, it's £3.50. I thought I'd give it a try. Why not? I bought my missus a cup of um, a latte in Costa. Um, a large latte. £3.80 that cost. Just to put things into a bit of perspective there. Um, so yes, less than a cup of coffee. So the next one that I bought was um, a film starring Kevin Costner, Gary Oldman. I'm called Criminal. Now the slip isn't in the best of conditions on this. That doesn't bother me. I mean, if it was slip less, I would have bought it. Because, you know, it's got Kevin Costner, Gary Oldman, Tom Lee Jones, um, Gal Godot, Godot is in it. Um, and, and I've not seen this film um, with old Kevin Costner. I, I, I know nothing about it. Um, there is a digital code in there. Um, Anyone wants to give it a try, it might still work, probably not, might have been used, who knows. But there you go, I don't know if these things still work, but I don't do digital, so I wouldn't even give it a try. 
So that's that. I'll probably throw the slip away considering how beat up it actually is and that, you know. And then the last one I picked up was the movie Sanctum for 50p. Still got this old sticker on it from wherever that was from. £10, wow. And I know this film stars Ian Grufford, um, Mr. Fantastic from the Fantastic Four, Horatio Hornblower from the Hornblower TV series. Um, and he'd done a fantastic... TV show, um, which I'm looking for right now, and I'm hoping I can find it. I'll show you. Um, I'll talk about this. Anyway, I'll, I'll show you this, but yeah, um, before I get back to that. So he done this TV show called Forever a while back, a few years ago. I don't know, 2017, something like that, off the top of my head. Um, he was immortal in it. What if you, although he didn't chop people's heads off with swords, but what would you do if you could live forever? And this was fantastic. It was a really good show. It only lasted the one season of 22 episodes or something like that. Yeah, 22 episodes. And, and this came from Australia, this version. But you get quality shows like this and no one watches them and they get cancelled. Um, this was really, really good. Um, but with a title like Forever, I can see why... Not many people gravitate towards that title. But anyway, so Sanctum. Um, yeah, I've never seen this. It's about spelunking, isn't it? They go into this cave system, whatever. Um, for in an underwater and chillingly claustrophobic scenes. Um, yeah, I've not seen this film, so this is a blind buy for me. Um, um, yeah, 50p. Can't go wrong. So there we go. Um, I'll give that one a go. Golly. Anyway, so that was it. Those were the three pickups and that comic book. Um, I don't know where I put the other one. So, there we go. Those three there. Have you seen these? What's your thoughts on them? I know that's a classic. Oliver Stone as well. Um, is this any good? Have you seen this criminal film? Is it good? Is it rubbish? Is it worth three pound? I don't know. And Sanctum. Well, it's 50p. You can't go wrong, can you? Um, and I'm sure I'll, I will enjoy this sort of, my sort of film, I suppose. But there we go. Anyway, that's it. Thank you. This is AJ. I'm off and I shall see you on the next one. Take care all. Goodbye.